Hey guys, my name is LT Zonda and welcome to a, another review. Uh, so basically today I have the Steel Series Kinzu V2, which is a, a pretty nice, kind of simple game in mouse. Uh, simply has four buttons. You got your left click, your right click, your scroll button, which you can kind of press as well. It's a scroll button really. And you've also got your button which changes your DPI settings. So uh, you, first of all, well you have two settings which are already pre-programmed in. So you've kind of got like a fast rapid setting. You can probably maybe see that on the screen. So like you barely have to move it and it'll move a lot. You've also got a kind of smaller setting uh, where um, well, it lowers the uh, DPI and that means that you move a lot slower. Uh, which is a nice little thing. Um, I kind of do this weird kind of thing when I'm gaming. Um, I kind of like to change back and forward between it really quickly like sometimes when I'm playing. It's probably not really a very pro tactic but um, it's, it's like what I like to do. So I'm moving around quite quick, quick, quickly. Um, I'm moving around quite quickly and uh, kind of adjusting, snapping onto people quickly and once I've snapped on, I kind of press it just as I'm doing it like, and then get going, bam, I'm shooting them. Um, I don't know, it's something that I like to do and with the Steel Series Kinzu V2, it makes it quite easy because the button is simply right there so I can always switch backwards and it forward. So if I'm sniping at long range, I obviously want a bit more accuracy. Um, so there we go, a bit more precision, and uh, I get that by just lowering the sensitivity by one click of a button. Uh, but normally I'll just use this for uh, navigating, the, navigating the web. So um, best guys, as you can see, this is the Steel Series website. Uh, you probably can't see it too well, it isn't really focused on the website. Got a few pictures and stuff. Uh, there's actually a few colours available. We have an orange, uh, we have a yellow, we have a black, and we have a white. I have the back one because it looks friggin' sweet. Um, underneath, uh, basically guys, as you can see, there's a little bit of wear and tear on here already. Simply for the fact that uh, for the last few days, I decided to bin my mouse mat because it, honestly it was getting so old, so wrecked. Um, I didn't really have a, um, what's the word, um, a pretty good one. Um, I didn't act especially have a good professional kind of one. So I'm thinking maybe I should uh, check out the um, surfaces on the Steel Series website and uh, go get myself one. So um, as you can see, it's got the uh, kind of laser, whatever bit you want to call it, the infrared button which tracks it. Uh, it's got the uh, glide pads. Uh, they do recommend that you change these every uh, now and again. Um, I'm not sure what it says. Uh, it's, it's probably every every few months, depending on your use. Um, if you do have a mouse pad, obviously it's not going to wear out so quickly. I've gathered a little bit of dust around the edges simply for the fact that I am using it on wood at the moment, which is kind of annoying because I can't really play properly on games. But uh, once I have sorted out my new mouse mat and ordered it. I will be back into gaming. But before when I did have my mouse mat, uh, gaming was pretty nice with this thing. Um, obviously this thing doesn't have any like buttons on the side or anything. Um, it's all quite simplified. Um, it's, it's pretty much there as a kind of good alternative to uh, quick gaming. Um, obviously the best feature about it is it is so light and compact. Honestly it is really small. It, it, even with my huge hands, it does fit really nicely on there. And um, you can kind of just get the whole gist of it. Um, it's basically guys, you're probably laughing at my uh, setup right now because I have a freaking nice little awesome mouse um, I have a really dirty old Dell mouse, uh, no not mouse, keyboard and no surface to play on um, that is that is uh, the, re the reason why I need to get a full time job <laughs> but uh, yeah um, basically the best thing about this is it does uh, it, no it does, it is supported by the SteelSeries engine um, which I have just here and uh, basically it will let you program a load of different things obviously with the Kinzu you've only got four buttons or three buttons to program because that one won't let you but it will let you change other things uh, so we'll go for a little experiment um, obviously we can keep the same one back here yeah. um, nope I'm not left handed, see you can switch to left handed mode which is quite nice uh, settings, so there we go you can change your CPI uh, polling rate and obviously your second CPI so um, I'm, I, may, I may up up that, oh no, do I want it that high? No, maybe I do not. So uh, we're going to go for a thousand on that one. And uh, hopefully that will let us do that. And then the max is obviously 3,200 for this gaming mouse. Which to be honest is exactly what I need. I'm not going to need any more than 3,200. Or it wasn't letting me change that. Change that. So I'm going to go for 1,600 instead. Which is a nice even number. Um, it's a little bit more speed up than uh, what it was before. 800 maybe seemed a little too slow. Uh, but 1,600 is a nice little number for me to go on. But uh, obviously 3,200, that's a lot, and um, I think that works nicely. So obviously you'd save that and everything, and bam, you are ready to go. Uh, so altogether, guys, this is a rather nice little gaming mouse. Um, I'm, I'm going to sum it up pretty quickly. Uh, we're going to go for a shop, and I'm going to show you the price of this butte. Um, so obviously, guys, the uh, main thing is colours, which are pretty damn cool, and um, you can uh, mess around with them. And uh, you can go for what you like. 
Um, obviously, ooh, there's actually more colours available, I believe there was. Um, oh no, we just have black or silver. Oh no, that is that is the V2 Pro. So, uh, what is going on? Where is the standard V2? Because that is what I have. Oh, there's the Kinzo, Kinzu Optical, which um, I'm guessing maybe is the same thing. So, uh, we're going to check that out. And I believe this is actually the one. Oh no, we just have black. But anyway, guys, um, obviously, I believe this is the right price. It's £34 for the Kinzu Optical and the uh, V2 Pro, that was £44. Um, I'm guessing, I'm not really sure, this is this is called the v Kinzu V2. They don't currently have it on their website. Um, maybe if they did it for international, they probably do. But um, on the United Kingdom ones, they did not have it. Uh, but overall, guys, this is a very nice mouse. Um, and if it is between £35 and £45, it is a pretty good save. Because I brought a £50 mouse before. And, um, I'm not going to go into details, just in case uh, I actually want to review something from the company in the future. <laughs> so um, I will leave it you wondering how bad it really was. Not mentioning any names. But yeah guys, um, overall, thank you for checking out this review. Um, I hope you have gathered by now of the amount of Steel Series products that I have reviewed and given really, really good um, reviews about simply for the fact that they do make amazing gaming equipment so um, I want to say a big thank you to Steel Series for letting me get a chance to review a mouse this is actually believe it or not my first mouse review guys so uh, please could you drop a comment in the section below uh, if I did well reviewing this mouse um, if it's made you uh, think about buying it maybe saving money on other mouses that are available or just uh, generally doing a nice job what do you what do you